This video is going to cover the basics of drip campaigns in FunnelFlare. A drip campaign is a very useful tool for automating some of your sales processes. Whenever I think about a drip campaign, I'm always thinking the same thing. What are the entrance conditions? What am I trying to get this prospect to do? What are the exit conditions? So in a drip campaign, the uh, entrance conditions, and in this case, it is a user trigger drip campaign. You can see this by this little star in this workflow. The starting step is really what governs the entrance condition. So in this drip campaign with the user trigger campaign, we're going to add it, uh, add a prospect to the drip campaign directly from within the CRM. So I'll see a prospect in my CRM, I'll hit this little badge, and this is the same for all CRMs, and you'll see the person here. I can add them to this drip campaign by clicking here and saving. The second part is what am I trying to get this prospect to do? So whenever I'm doing a drip campaign, the what am I trying to get the prospect to do is known as a goal. So the goal for a drip campaign is the action that we're trying to get the prospect to do, whether it's booking a meeting, phoning us, filling out a form, taking a survey, something like that. So we just define our goals by clicking this little plus and going through the process of defining what this we want this prospect to do in this specific drip campaign. The drip campaign I've got here, I'm really trying to get the person to do either one of two things. One is either to book a meeting with me or to reply to my emails. And that's how I've got these, these uh, goals set up. So in this campaign, if the prospect does what I want them to do, I'm going to stop bothering them. So I'm going to check this checkbox and it's really saying stop processing the prospects that are in the goal completion list. Anybody that completes one of these defined goals is automatically added to the goal completion list. Another thing to think about is how often do we want somebody to go through this campaign? And in this case, I'm going to say I only want the person to go through once. Uh, this ensures that they're not seeing the same communication with me over and over and over again. So, for example, a campaign like sending a birthday greeting. That's a campaign we'd love to have somebody uh, go through many times. But this campaign here, I'm just going to check this checkbox and say I only want the prospect to go through once. So a drip campaign is governed by the workflow. So the workflow has a starting step, which is this little star. You select the starting step at the beginning of the campaign design process. Then it's really just working with the workflow editor on this canvas to define the logic. So the logic is really defined by decisions and actions. So we literally drag and drop the objects onto the canvas and then we move wires between the actions or objects and uh, that def defines the flow. So a prospect is triggered here, it'll hit this decision. So a decision object always has two paths. One path is yes, one path is no. So there's some Boolean logic in here that tests the prospect. And if this is true, it goes this way. If this is false, it goes this way. So with the starting step, in this case, it's going to go directly to an email. And with all of the objects in this workflow editor, you click on the object, this little panel comes out, you can configure the object. In this case, it's an email. So I can, so I can click the edit button, it'll bring up the email editor, I can configure the text, etc. in the email editor. It's the same case for any of these objects. Each object has its own unique config panel. It's important to note there's two types of decisions. One is a just a straight decision, true, false. The other one is a wait decision. And the difference being here is that this decision here is really a true, false test. And if it's true, it goes this way. If it's false, it goes this way. Now, if the test we're trying to make is I sent this email and did the person open it, click it, etc., well, this is always going to be false because we didn't give the person time to actually open or receive the email because this is immediate. So we add the prospect to the drip campaign. They're immediately sent an email. Then immediately there's a check to see if, for example, did the person open the email and on and on and on. So this will always be false because we didn't give the prospect time to actually uh, do the action we're, we're testing for. So hence, there's this concept of a wait type decision. So if I put this decision here, if I click the panel, you can see here that I can actually set a wait state. So I can say I will give this person one day 
and if they in the case if I go email open so in this case if I go email open I can wait for a day now if they uh, open it immediately moves to the next step if they if the times out for the one day then it'll go through the false path so that's really the difference between the two decision types one has a wait the other one does not for your convenience there's a couple of predefined uh, decision objects that uh, have wait states as an option like for example email opened you can just click here add a wait state And the actions are really, there's lots of different types of actions, and depending on the CRM type you have, there will be some uh, unique actions that are provided uh, with the platform for engaging with the CRM. For example, scheduling an activity. So if you see in this trip campaign, there's a user triggered, we send an email, wait five days, send another email, uh, wait a week, send another email. And if they didn't do what we want them to do in this case, book a meeting or reply to an email, we're going to schedule an activity in the CRM to bring the prospect back into our visibility so that we can take action on the prospect. This concludes the video on drip campaigns in FunnelFlare.